inflation continues, and today the Federal Reserve has increased interest rates by a half a percentage point. Well, the move marks the end of one of the most aggressive years in the central bank's history. And Queen City News Chief Business Correspondent Taylor Young joining us here in the studio. Taylor, the whole goal here is to really slow consumer spending, but that doesn't seem to be working so far. Yeah, well, Alicia Bryan, this was a tough year for the American consumer. You know, we saw record high inflation, record high gas prices, and housing became less affordable. But despite all of that, Americans are still spending well above normal. And there are a couple of reasons for that. Despite an unstable economy, job growth was phenomenal this year. If you remember earlier this year, everyone was hiring. You saw the help wanted signs on nearly every business across Charlotte. And in order to find new employees, employers had to pay more. So not only have people returned back to work to the workforce, but they're also making more money. Bank of America CEO Brian Moynihan says this is putting the Fed in a tough position. And so now the Fed has to choke off inflation. They really have raised rates to a level uh, that they, the debate is how high they go. The, you know, the job is to destroy the feeling of wealth, markets down, housing more less affordable. Maybe that'll slow the consumer down. It just hasn't yet. Now, while Americans spending more money is a positive thing for businesses, it can actually lead to even higher inflation. If there is a high demand for products, businesses are going to continue to increase those prices. So what is the answer here? Well, the Fed is going to have to continue raising interest rates well into 2023. And today, that's exactly what the bank says it plans on doing. Brian. Yeah, certainly frustrated looking ahead to 2023. All right.